I've shown you guys how to draw donuts, cactuses, pizza, and a hundred other things. But today, I'm gonna break it down as simple as I can and show you 10 basic shapes that you should know how to make on Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm super excited about today's video. I know it sounds simple, but this is the foundation of all the illustrations that we do. And it even starts touching into logo design when we talk about iconography. I'm gonna be using the iPad to do these shapes, but you're more than welcome to use the desktop if that's easier for you. The first shape we're gonna do is a heart. This one actually blew my mind the first time I figured out how to make this. It's so simple. We're gonna start with a rectangle and then we're gonna round the top corners. I'm gonna take this, duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees, make sure it's aligned at the bottom and the left. So we'll line this to the left, just rotate it. And look at that, we got a heart just like that. I mean, what did that take? 30 seconds, maybe, if that. Shape one, done. All right guys, the next shape we're gonna do is a starburst. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and I'm gonna hold shift to make sure it's even all the way around. I'm gonna duplicate this and rotate it 90 degrees. I'm gonna take both layers, duplicate it again, and we're just gonna rotate until we hit it uh, right in the center. And just like that, we got a starburst. I'm gonna group them all together. This one's great for badges and awards or any type of like logo. It's a great start for that. The next shape we're gonna do is a moon or a crescent. I'm gonna take my ellipse tool, make sure to hold shift, stretch it along. I'm gonna duplicate this, grab my duplicated layer, and then I'm gonna take both of these. I'm gonna select them both, come over here to my pathfinder, and I'm gonna go to shape builder or minus front. I'll just use shape builder for now. And boom, we're gonna subtract that. And now we have a moon shape, super simple. All right guys, this next one's really fun. This one's going to be like a star. So I'm gonna take my pencil tool. I'm gonna hold shift, draw this. I'm gonna come over to my settings and I'm gonna grab, I'm actually gonna make this a stroke. So I'll actually make this a stroke real quick. Put that uh, width, we'll make it 30. Go to width profile. We're gonna do the uh, spe spear both ends. I'm gonna duplicate this and we're just gonna start rotating. We're gonna take both of these. We're gonna to come to the uh, outline stroke, and then I'm gonna combine all of these. Convert the path, boom. This is one shape now, and we got our star. So this next shape is actually very similar to the shape we just made. I'm gonna start by making a rectangle, and I'm gonna to come to my direct selection, and I'm gonna round both corners. And I'm gonna duplicate this. And we're gonna pretty much do the same thing we just did with our last shape. And now we have like a flower, a rounded star type shape. This one's really fun for uh, different types of embellishments or accents on illustrations. All right, the next shape I'm gonna do, I call the rainbow. I'm gonna take my ellipse tool, hold that shift, drag it out. And I'm gonna switch this over to a stroke and we're gonna crank that way up. Uh, 90 should be good. And now I'm gonna come over here and I want to outline my stroke. I want this to be a shape. I don't want it to be a stroke anymore. And then I'm going to click away. Uh, I'm gonna take a rectangle. We're gonna draw this all the way across this. We're gonna grab both of these, go to Pathfinder, minus front, convert to path, boom. Rainbow shape. These are so simple, guys. All right, for this next shape, if you've used any type of GPS app, you should know what this is. I call this the pinpoint. I mean, there's no really name for it, but it's just like a pinpoint selection. So we're gonna start with the triangle tool, do a long triangle, and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna round all my edges. I'm actually gonna start with just the top two, make it a perfect round, and then we're gonna pull up this bottom. You should see what's going on here. I'm gonna come back over here to my ellipse, do a perfect circle drag it in the middle. I'm actually gonna make it white so I can see what's going on. It's a little bigger than I want it to be. So I'm gonna line this up. And then again, Pathfinder, minus front. And just like that, we have a nice little pinpoint shape. Uh, this is good for maps and locations, different types of UI elements, super simple. All right, this next shape is really good for logo work. Uh, we're gonna start with the rectangle tool. And I'm gonna come and round the bottom perfectly. And then I'm just going to adjust this top piece right here, bring it down a little bit. And just like that, we have a shield. This is super good for logos. You'll see this all the time in different badges and things. Uh, super simple, but very effective. All right, so this next shape is very similar to the one we just did. It's going to be a rectangle. And then we're gonna come and we're going to do another triangle. 
And I want to make sure these are lined up. I'm going to duplicate this. All right, everything's lined up. I'm going to come and I'm going to combine all of these. And now we're going to start making it look more like a shield. So I'll take these two and I'll round them all the way. And I'm going to round this little bottom piece just a little bit. Squish it just a tad. And just like that, we have a really nice shield shape. All right, the last shape is gonna be a speech bubble. This one's a lot of fun if you do a lot of character animation. So we're gonna grab the ellipse tool, make a perfect circle, and then we're gonna grab the triangle tool. And we're just going to rotate this a little bit, come over here and line these up the way we like them. I think that looks nice right there. I'm going to combine them. And then I'm gonna round some of these shapes. I like the way the round looks. I think it just adds a little bit more character to it. Smooths it out a little bit. And just like that, we have a quick text bubble that we can put on any of our characters and uh, make them say something. Guys, here's the 10 simple shapes. We knock these out super fast. They're so easy to make. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and put them in a composition and show you how we can use them in design. Let's do it. I wanna show you guys how you can use these simple shapes in everyday designs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this clip up and I'm gonna show you me designing a quick little poster. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking every shape and I'm changing the color. I'm also changing the orientation. Some of them I'm duplicating multiple times and just placing them all around the canvas. For whatever reason, these shapes are super popular in like pop culture and grunge design right now. So I wanted to use a loud, colorful palette uh, and I just wanted to have fun with it. Make it funky, make it groovy. Show you guys a quick little example. If you guys do something with these shapes, I'd love to see them. Make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can comment and share. I know this video was super simple and maybe even a little oversimplified, but what I want you to do is just realize that every illustration and logo that we make is just the sum of tiny individual shapes. Once you understand the concept of shapes and how they work together, you can really start improving and advancing your illustrations and logos. Well guys, that's all I got for you. Did you know how to make any of these shapes or was this new to you? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.